What's up ladies and gentlemen, back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing Batwoman Season 2. Uh, season 2 uh, gives us a recap of Season 1, uh, introducing Ryan Wilder as the new Batwoman. Uh, or at least the introduction to her anyways, and her little backstory and her criminal past, the loss of her mother, and um, her living in like a van and whatnot, basically being homeless and being on, um, I believe, probation and things like that. Uh, you kind of go into her story of her um, being actually innocent and, uh, I guess, <laughs> being blamed for a lot of things that she didn't actually do. Uh, but her character does, I guess, her character's no Mary Sue. Her character does have flaws. Uh, going into the series, you, you do see that um, she kind of has her own, I guess, agenda when it comes to certain characters on the show, like, I believe, uh, uh, the character Alice, aka Beth Kane, like, there's a serious beef between the two, um, uh, I guess, uh, Alice's character, she wants to be forgiven from Wild Ryan Wilder, she's apologized numerous times, but that grudge is still there when it comes to uh, Ryan Wilder and the loss of her mother. So it just shows you, I guess, her character on certain things that she will and will and will not let go when it comes to those things. Um, there are some quirks of comedy in this series as well as drama. Uh, there are some, I guess, moments that do get very dramatic whatnot but uh yeah you do see some character development between uh ryan wilder and her feud with uh alice now uh going into season two i did not know what to expect watching the show i know i heard a lot of bad reviews for season one i didn't get a chance to actually watch season one but uh mostly the the bad reviews mostly contained to um, I guess Kate Kane's character who is uh, the Batwoman of season one basically bashing Batman at every chance she got so I think that's probably like an, an one of the many reasons why season one received a lot of negative reviews um, I haven't reviewed season one but I have bought it on DVD so once I'm done watching all 20 episodes of this series, I will review season one for uh, that woman. But um, going into uh, season two, um, I, I didn't think I was gonna actually um, like the show because, like I said, uh, I've been hearing a lot of people bash it and whatnot. But it's always good to watch things for yourself and kind of uh, figure out for yourself if you actually like it or not. Which I know I'm probably going to be in the minority when it comes to this review, but um, I actually thought season two wasn't actually a bad TV show at all. Uh, I actually thought uh, it was actually a pretty good watchable show. Now I'm pretty sure there's going to be people com in the comments section that are probably going to be bashing me or dissing me, but like I said, this is only my opinion. You don't have to agree with it, you know, but you do have to respect it. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> overall, I thought. Um, you know, then, like I said, there was a mixture of action, there was a mixture of comedy, there was a mixture of drama, there was a mixture of character development. And then you kind of see the whole thing with um, the, I guess, the, the security team led by Jacob Kane, which is basically, uh, I, I guess they're like replacing uh, DCPD. You know, because there's no, like, Commissioner Gordon or anything like that and whatnot. Um, I'd have to see which universe uh, that woman takes place. Because there's so many alternate universes. Whether it's, like, Marvel or DC, there's different uh, universes within uh, when it comes to these comic book movies and TV shows. Uh, but, yeah, I would say that the new Batwoman, at least my opinion, Ryan Wilder, uh, uh, like I said, there's times where she could be, uh, I guess, funny, and then there's times where she could be very overly dramatic. 
you know, and then there's times where it's completely serious. But yeah, kind of like a little bit of everything in there. Um, but yeah, I didn't think it was actually a bad show, at least for season two. Well, I'm pretty sure there's some people that disagree. But uh, that's how I feel about this whole thing is I don't think it was bad as people made it out to be. As far as season one, I don't see how bad it is when people are comparing uh, the, the original Batwoman uh, played by Kate Kane from the actress Ruby Rose who left the show after the first season which I believe she stated a, a, num- a number of different opinions on why she left the show I'm pretty sure you can find that all on Google uh, I'm not turning this into a video essay this is a TV show review you know but uh, in the next coming weeks or so, um, once I get through that DVD set right there, then I could review season one. But uh, I really don't have anything bad to say about season two. So um, that's pretty much my thoughts on opinions on it. If you guys have seen both season one and two of Batwoman, give me your thoughts below. What did you like about the show? What did you hate about the show? Who do you think is the better Batwoman, Ruby Rose or Ryan Wilder? And do you collect, I guess, any Batwoman comic books and whatnot? You know, um, give me your thoughts below. Comment below. And uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys around for the next video. So y'all have a great day and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.